We turn now to newly released video by the Bakersfield Police Department. It shows the moments the man was shot by officers after police say he stabbed multiple people at a market in southeast Bakersfield. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper is joining us live from where police say the crime spree started. She's breaking down the video and why officials say they chose to release it. Tori. <laughs> Yeah, Jessica, the Bakersfield Police Department says the goal of tonight is really to help enhance transparency between the Bakersfield Police Department and the community. Now, in order to do that, the Bakersfield Police Department is taking us right back here to the Watts Market parking lot where a series of stabbings took place and the suspect was shot not far from here a short time later. Now, we do want to warn our viewers tonight that some of the images you are about to see may be graphic for some groups. Bakersfield police say sometimes you have to see it to believe it for yourself before forming any conclusions. The possible 245 however, then advice to stabbing everyone. Second up will be a Hispanic male mid 50s. Newly released video from BPD shows why police say they responded to Watts Drive and Lotus Lane on Monday, August 17th. In the video, you can see 65 year old Everardo Gonzalez Santana in a white t shirt charging at bystanders sitting outside the Watts Market with a knife. But what police say you didn't see in this video was this woman, 64 year old Karen Johns, who was attacked first by Gonzalez when she was in the process of getting out of her car at the Watts Market. Family of John's telling 23 ABC News that John's didn't know Gonzalez. A random act of violence that would have continued if it had not been for the BPD. Police say they released this video in an effort to increase transparency between the community and police. And they plan to continue this communication going forward. But they would not comment on a possible motive or whether Gonzalez had a criminal history or a history of mental illness. Detectives say they are still investigating to see if there was any relationship between Gonzalez and the victims. Johns and a man who was also stabbed while sitting outside of the Watts Market were both rushed to the hospital and both survived. But moments later, police say Gonzalez ran off, carjacked and stabbed a third person who also survived. Gonzalez stole the third victim's white Chevy Malibu, was involved in a hit and run shortly after. Then he abandoned the Chevy at Brundage and T Street. That's when a witness started filming this video from their car, capturing the stolen Chevy and Gonzalez walking swiftly from the Chevy on the sidewalk with no shoes. The video then shows Gonzalez charging at the witness. CPD says detective of 14 years, Jeffrey Martin, and an officer of seven months, Aaron Waddell, who was wearing this body camera, were both flagged down at P Street when Gonzalez entered a business yard. And that's when the new officer, Aaron Waddell, was faced with a life and death decision, and he shot Gonzalez, who was seen charging at him with a knife. Put the knife down. Put him down. Put the knife down now. Get inside! Both officers are now on modified duty working inside the office. Now, Detective Martin was also involved in a non fatal officer involved shooting back in 2014, but Bakersfield Police says this is the very first time that they have released a fatal body camera footage of an officer involved shooting. Jessica. And Tory officials say they released this to increase transparency between police and the community and that the department plans on releasing more videos like this. But is there a timeline on how soon we'll have access to those videos or procedures in place? Yeah, Jessica, the Bakersfield Police Department says from now on, anytime there is an officer involved shooting, the department will be working to release body cam footage to the community within 30 days. Now, of course, that's only if they are able to piece together all of the video from the incident. And this is, of course, a very new procedure that they are working to implement and they may still present some challenges. But of course, they are still really aiming to enhance that community trust tonight, Jessica.